Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Season 2, Episode 1, Vintage Singer Sewing Machines, Model 403A. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Jeb Adams channel. I thank you for viewing, subscribing, and commenting. We want to hear from you. Season 2 started on September 27th, 2021, and is now October 7th, with 388 subscribers. This video will be about removing the motor from the Singer 403A. Most of the machines are still in storage in Long Sioux, Ontario. They will be arriving steadily in the next few weeks. This is a simple video without a lot of tools and lubricants. I will not be cleaning or restoring this machine today. It is a simple remove the motor, show and tell. Of course, once the motor is removed, it will have to be replaced. It will have to be uh, reinstalled. We will need to take the top cover and the bottom cover off because we'll be working in both those areas. So we get started with these two screws on the top. There we can remove the, the cover, the top cover, and the end door opens automatically when that comes off. Turn it on its side. This is an easy one to get off because it's just this one nut or screw or whatever. There. So we'll go back up top. Before we do, there is the motor. There's the bracket that holds the motor and the, the, the wiring and stuff in place. It's not all that dirty. It is a little bit grimy, a little bit varnished, but I mean, that's for another day. And we lost uh, the door just as well. We can see that it is a little bit grimy in there. Just above my right thumb, we can see the gears there and see a little bit of varnish. But it's not terrifically. I mean, it's dirty, but it's not terrifically dirty. It has to be cleaned, but that's for another day's work. So, what I'm going to do now is get to work on the hand wheel, or as Singer calls it, the balance wheel. I'll take that out. I should be able to take this off now, thread it off, unscrew it, there it comes, there, and I can actually put that screw back in there. I think it might even thread, yes, so I won't, it won't get lost. So that's off, now we have the hand wheel, the balance wheel, which definitely needs a cleaning. And we have the, the washer, and that has come off as well. And I do believe that, that now we'll be able to go down below And we'll undo the mounting bracket or holding bracket screw, whatever that bracket is called. So 
So that one's out, that screw is out. That bracket is off. And there's a red wire there that I'll try and pull out. Yes, and there's a black wire there. So the black was on the bottom there. That one was up there. Now we'll see if I can remove the motor. And they can't, so we'll go back up top. And I'll just give it a little tap down. There. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. So there's our motor. It's a PA9-8, made in USA, Elizabethport, New Jersey, a Singer Manufacturing Co. And we can see a little bit of the, the varnish on the end there where it was contacting in there. But uh, it'll be interesting when we do get inside this motor uh, to have a look at it, if nothing else, just to make sure it's all good. But before we do that, um, We'll get it back uh, up and running, and uh, then once we get into restoring it and playing with it further, we'll we'll do it there. So that's how we got the the motor out of the 403A with uh, with a timely tap at the at the top of the uh, the motor, and we'll move forward from there. Thank you for watching. Hope you found some uh, something uh, interesting. Uh, or that you can use and uh, have a great have a great time ciao this is the simple new setup that I'm using right now to to film these read this video actually this uh, this may be still part of the first video I may put it as an addendum at the end of the first video about taking the hand wheel, the balance wheel off this 403A. You can see I've got a couple of uh, small lamps. Uh, I just bought the white one the other day for 20 bucks. I'm not sure what I paid for the black one. I may have bought that newer. I may have got it at uh, the Salvation Army. And then I have another lamp over there. That was a 50 or $60 lamp. So that's what I'm using for, uh, for filming right now. When I am filming, I bring that lamp over there and use it over here. That's my other desk with a computer and monitor and little garbage can and uh, looking out the window we're looking, uh, there's my balcony, I'm on the 17th floor facing north in, um, I'm in downtown Montreal, not middle of downtown Montreal but on the edge of downtown Montreal. Actually I'm in an area called Milton Park commonly known as McGill Ghetto and that is uh, L'Avenue du Parc uh, northbound. Direction Nord and a uh, little bit of traffic. You see the red lights there going up the street and the white ones coming into town. The other thing that's interesting, it doesn't really reply to sewing machines, but uh, there is the stadium that the CFL Montreal Alouettes play at. And then on top of the mountain, I'm zooming in now, is, uh, is the cross. The cross that uh, Monsieur de Maisonneuve had uh, built initially way back in the, I don't know if it was the 1500s or the 1600s, I'll say 1600s. And uh, that was a, the, the cross was a, a bargain he made with God. If the colony survived, he would build a cross. So obviously that's not the original cross, but uh, that's, uh, that's what it signifies. That's what it represents. So yeah, it's really cool. But anyway, uh, back to uh, sewing machines. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that little tour. 
don't look at my messy apartment. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk another time. We'll chat another time on another video. Uh, ciao, amigos.